Have you ever wondered how to get your Wi-Fi network to perform better? Well, stay tuned, we're about to explain how to do that. Today's topic is about getting your Wi-Fi network to work better inside your business or your home. Now there's a few things that you can do to make things better. The first thing that you've got to make sure is that with your Wi-Fi, depending on where it's been set up, if it's in a back room somewhere, no matter how many walls in between you have, uh, between like your study or your office, if there's more walls in between like brick walls or concrete walls, the signal strength is going to weaken. So the, the first thing that you really want to do is boost the signal to the highest signal strength possible. So in your modem or your router, depending on what you have set up at home or your business, it'll either be set to 20 megahertz or 40 megahertz, or it might be a, a long or short preamble. If you set it to a long preamble and 40 megahertz, that'll be the highest signal strength that you can get. So depending on how far away you are from the modem or Wi-Fi router, you'll see that the signal strength on the computer will either be five bars or close enough to five bars depending on how close you are to the device for perfect signal strength now as long as the signal strength is up at that high and you're in a double story building you actually get a really big signal strength throughout the top floor and the bottom floor depending on how tall the building is if it's a double story it'll be fine uh, it'll spread most likely throughout the whole house or throughout the whole building depending on where the router is situated the other thing that you can do is you can run ethernet cables to other wi-fi access points so if you have an access point down on the bottom story or one at the top story you want to be able to have the signal strength as perfect as possible so the ethernet connection is a wired connection that runs through the building you'll have to get an electrician in to install the cables because it requires putting it through the wall and down walls and into unique spots where it's hard to get to and this is the easiest way for wi-fi signal to work perfectly in your building and once you have the ethernet connected you can either get a Wi-Fi extender or a Wi-Fi access point and plug them in via Ethernet and that way the signal strength that runs from the internet connection, whatever you have, whether it's ADSL or cable internet, will then work seamlessly instead of dropping in and out if you had no Ethernet connection there. So that because it's cabled in, it will actually be a direct connection to the router and the signal strength for the internet will actually work a lot faster. I hope you got something out of that tip. And that when you do get the electrician in and then you get your Wi-Fi sorted out, you'll have a stronger connection. What I suggest you do after that is do a speed test through speedtest.net and check your bandwidth to see whether it actually goes up. You should see a significant increase on your network speed. I hope you got something out of that tip. We'll see you tomorrow.